Hey everybody, I just got a haircut with JT here. Great haircut. Very even on both sides. Great military haircut. Not many people in the Philippines can do this, trust me. I've had it happen before. Not many people can do it. So, JT here, great, great barber. So, uh, definitely share and subscribe to his channel. The US for to get like a visa, stuff like that. You got businesses and stuff like that. And it looks highly, the US looks highly on that. You know, because the, the biggest thing with the U.S. is to get a tourist visa and things like that. You need to have, like, uh, something that back in the Philippines that you would go back to, you know, because they're worried about people coming over and just staying in the U.S., but you have six businesses that you got to attend to, so, of course, the U.S. is going to look much favorable on that. So. What's your business in the U.S.? Oh, I... No, I actually work in Afghanistan. I'm a government. I'm, I'm a government worker. So. Yeah. Um, well, I used to be in the Air Force, but Air Force? Are you? I used to be. Yeah, for I did for 12 years, and uh, now I got out and I'm doing civilian contracting with them over in uh, Afghanistan. So much, be much better money that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Pays the bills. So, uh, definitely one of the things. No, I came here because of my father in law passing yeah. away. How many months stay here in the Philippines? How many what? How many months stay here? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I was supposed to go back in Afghanistan on the 21st of uh, Yeah, but yeah, they closed all air travel, so. I'm just over here. They're still paying me, so I'm not complaining. It's like a vacation. Yeah. Well, kind of. Besides being on quarantine, lockdown. Quarantine. <laughs> you know, being stuck uh, here. Well, the U is no, 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 no lockdown. No, they do. Uh, different states have different rules. Uh, different. Yeah. Actually, in Maryland, where we're from, this lockdown. So, you know, it's only essential travel to get groceries and medical attention. Yeah. No different than here. But whenever they're thinking around May 1st, they'll May 1st. Uh, remove the lockdown, so I'll be going back to work. So. But I do want to, you know, I'm saving for uh, some business and uh, buy a house over in the US. It's expensive. Shahir and I are looking for a uh, beachfront property yeah. back in the US, like in Michigan. Oh boy, I've been working ever since I got out of the Air Force after 12 years. I've been doing uh, deployment work in Iraq and Afghanistan since 2010. Up till now. I took like a year and a half off to take a job back in the U.S. for a little bit, but I was like, uh, I'll go back to Af Afghanistan, better pay. <laughs> Get a business back in the U.S. Maybe uh, in the U.S. they have a system called Live Scan, where like when you do background checks on people, which is recorded for a lot of jobs, they need to get fingerprinting. And yeah, and they don't use ink anymore. It's all electronics. It's all computer. Uh, so you can get your own systems and actually uh, have a business that way. And, and fingerprints to the government and stuff like that. And I've done that in Afghanistan, so it's too easy to work. It's good money for easy five, ten minutes worth of work. <laughs> yeah, literally, it's ten good minutes. Bit. You got the mirror. Oh, looks good. It's good So where did you learn to cut hair? What? Where did you learn to cut hair? Yeah. Experience. Just experience working yeah, and then... Experience only. It's my uh, passion. It's not my... Uh, it's a business. Uh-huh. Uh, barber profession is my life. It's my life. Yeah. I'm sure you got a lot of... 
barber shop and a professional barber. I, uh, I was done as a seven, uh, 17 years old. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you got uh, some loyal customers that are always coming to your barber shop, huh? Yeah. <laughs> On your 43? Yeah. I'm you don't 43. look 43, my friend. You look much younger. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good That's thing. It. That's a good thing. <laughs> so, do you do you uh, do you really cut hair, or are you just kind of going from shop to shop supervising, or is it? What's that? Do I have a daughter? Yeah. yeah. Oh, with my, not with Shahara. Uh, I have a ex-wife back in uh, California. I have a daughter and a son. Being her is a symbol of being her. Yeah. Shahara likes me with longer hair. I can't stand long hair. Yeah. You know, being in the military for 12 years, I get used to short hair and, sure. and you know can't have long hair, it, it'll bother me too much. Plus my hair doesn't grow even, and it looks like one side of my hair. See? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, if I don't frequently get haircuts, it, it looks really funny when it grows out. Like, one side will go one way, the other will go the other way. I got a cow lick, and just, I don't know, my hair is weird. So, it's just good to put, keep it short. Plus, you know, being in Afghanistan, there's a lot of sand and stuff like that that blows around, and you know, having longer hair just captures all of that sand, and you got a bunch of sand in your hair. If you got short hair, it's much easier. Much more. So, much more convenient. You know, I've had uh, a few haircuts in the Philippines before, uh, and uh, they really messed up my hair. They couldn't do a, a good fade like this. So I appreciate you actually being able to do this. <laughs> Because uh, it was really uneven and everything like that. I'm very picky about my hair, believe yeah. it or not. You know, when I'm in Afghanistan, there's only one person that I let touch my hair. Everybody else, I, I don't let them touch it. You know, once I find a barber that is good and can do with a fade really nice, so I'll, I'll stick with them regardless. So. I'll put it here. I can give you a face massage. What's that? Yeah, face massage. <laughs> yeah. I'll go in, uh, in the U.S. I don't know. You hear it, guys. Yeah, just here, but I did say that I don't say that. I'm just happy to get here. My hair was starting to get long. I trimmed my beard yesterday or this morning. It was, it was. I, I trimmed, I trimmed it a little bit, but uh, man, it was really long, and I had some gray hairs coming out. You want the sheep? Huh? You want the sheep? Oh no, no, no! I, I keep it uh, short. Sure. Like stubbly, like this, like stubble. But it was really long. I was starting to be. Uh, uh, it looked funny with gray hairs in it. Made me look old. Plus, my wife's hair kept on wanting to get tweezers and pull at them. And I, you know, don't want that. So after everything reopens, I know you said you got six shops. Are you thinking about getting any other shops, yeah. like a seventh or somewhere else? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What what city? Uh, I want to to know Manila. I want to go. Uh, but, uh, Have you ever thought about going like up towards Quezon City and put a, a, a branch up there or anything like that? Yes. Like. That far up? America is United States. Mm -hmm. It's a big country. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's pretty big. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on where you're at. Zon's a pretty big island. So. You should uh, consider maybe putting some uh, a barber shop near you know, where military sometimes feels like Subit and stuff like that. Especially if you guys can do a, a nice military style haircut like this. You know what I mean? It's 
Not everybody can do this, trust me. <laughs> yeah. I've already told you that. Well, so, have been close to a military base, you know. Uh, the, si the sides are zero. Zero, and then it goes up to the that one. Cheap. No, I don't need it. It's just zero. So, do you ever, uh, like when you're cutting and stuff like that, did you ever, like, uh, have customers like, uh, I don't know, like popular people, like actors in the Philippines, yeah, yeah, yeah. or, you know, like Pacquiao, or I don't know, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean, like uh, somebody kind of famous that always would come to you because you're a good uh, barber? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Filipino actors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there, yeah, you got some of those on there. Okay. Those are pretty healthy. You know. There's very, very few people getting the really critical aspects of the COVID. It's just very contagious. Well, contagious, you know, you can spread very easy. So. But then again, I mean, it's not the first time we've had something like this. I mean, what was it, 2013, China had that SARS that came from yeah. there. You know, the, they got the, the flu that happened in 1917, the Spanish flu that killed, like, 17 million people, 18 million people. So, I mean, it's not the first time we've had a, something like this. This is a lot less dead. It's not the first time. Oh, this is not, not nearly as deadly as those times. You know, we got much better medicine nowadays, too. You know, if this would happen... Very good. What is that, mint? <laughs> you know, so we know the Indian barber is the only one very popular like this was a very a very rare in the United States for years. Very rare. Haircut for finished. Haircut is good? Finished? Oh. Yeah? Let me, let me look at you. Mean, no, I'm good. Let me take a look here. With my glasses on. Yeah.